The Swans M10 package consists of two satellite speakers with 20mm dome tweeters and 3-inch woofers, with a frequency response range of 140 to 20,000 Hz. The combined amplifier and subwoofer has a 5-inch woofer unit with a frequency response range of 42 to 5,000 Hz. The front of the unit has only a volume knob, while the rear has a bass control, RCA sockets for the satellite speakers and a pair of stereo RCA sockets for input. The amplifier comfortably powers all three components. The cells package includes an RCA to 3.5mm stereo cable but nothing else. The satellite speakers have non-detachable wires, and plug into the amplifier using RCA plugs. The power cable is also non-detachable at the base unit, and our review sample came with a North American name a type plug. Surprisingly, there is no remote, which means that you will have to reach for the base unit every time. The volume control on the front also has a blue indicator light, which tell you when the unit is switched on. Although useful, the light is a bit too bright and uneven, so it's likely to get distracting and bothersome. The base control is on the rear, which we would rather have had on the front, since this is something we often found ourselves adjusting. Connectivity is limited to just the sole auxiliary RCA input, with no USB or Bluetooth. This means that ordinary 3.5mm to 3.5mm cables cannot be used with the system. The lack of Bluetooth and USB connectivity means that you will have to leave your source device plugged in and walk over to it every time you want to use it or change the track, in the case of smartphones or portable media players. If you're using the system only with a desktop computer, this may not be too bothersome, but if you're using it as a standalone home audio system, the lack of a remote and wireless connectivity will be a limitation. Starting with the beautifully mellow Kyara, we were treated to a loud, clean sound with crisp mids and highs. Sound quality was generally good, with enough clarity and sharpness to keep us impressed. The bass has a tendency to overpower the rest of the range if kept too high so it's good that it's independently adjustable. At a reasonable setting, the responses across all frequency ranges work brilliantly together to offer a wholesome sonic signature that gives each range its due. Lows from the satellite speakers are poor, because the amplifier is tuned to send the lows to the subwoofer. Pros Simple, sophisticated looks. Clean, crisp mids and highs. Bass can be adjusted to your convenience. Excellent all-round sound for the price. Cons Satellite speakers deliver poor lows. No Bluetooth or USB connectivity. No remote.